and stable coins took over the majority of all illicit transaction volume in 2022 and 2023 as cyber criminals sought out other ways to transact apart from using Bitcoin. In its latest report on crypto crime, blockchain analytics firm Chainalysis highlights that from 2018 to 2021, Bitcoin dominated as the cryptocurrency of choice among criminals. However, stablecoins accounted as for most of the illicit transaction volume in 2022 and 2023. The report notes that the change comes alongside the growth in overall activity around stablecoins, including legitimate transactions. Despite the development, other types of criminal activities such as darknet, market sales, and ransomware extortion still mostly use BTC. Uh, however, cyber criminals increasingly prefer stable coins for activities like scamming uh, and transactions linked to sanctioned entities, which are the biggest forms of crypto crime in terms of transaction volume. Uh, Chainalysis uh, wrote, uh, the report highlights that most of this amount is driven by crypto services sanctioned by the United States Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, which continues to operate out of locations where U.S. sanctions are not enforced. On January 4th, blockchain security firm CERTK reported that crypto hack revenue declined by over 51% in 2023. This marked a positive development in blockchain security. According to CERTK co-founder Rongu, a chain analysis shared somewhat similar figures in its report, highlighting that crypto hack revenue fell by 54.3%, while crypto scam profits dropped by 29.2%. Because of this, the records show that uh, there's also uh, a drop in transaction volume uh, associated with uh, uh, illicit addresses in 2023. Uh, but